Okay, so now we're going to compose a new function, this time using multiplication. And if you're multiplying two functions, well, as you can see, these functions are both binomials. So you would just set x subtract 3 times x squared subtract x. And then just perform the multiplication like you normally would. It's a double distributive. x times x squared is x cubed. And there's a subtract sign right there. x times x is x squared. That took care of this part of the distributive. Now you have negative 3 times x squared, which is negative 3x squared, and negative 3 times negative x, which is positive 3x. And then you're going to simplify. I should be rewriting this each time. g times f of x is equal to x cubed. Well, negative x squared, subtract 3x squared, is negative 4x squared. And then you tack on the plus 3x. So this is the new function composed from the two given function using multiplication. So, and that's with this notation. The other notation, let's cover all this up, is when you note, notate it this way. G function, g of x times f of x. Same thing, g, so x squared plus 2, whoops, x squared plus 2 times the expression 4x subtract 3. So g of x times f of x equals x squared times 4x is 4x cubed. x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. That takes care of this part of the distributive. 2 times positive 4x is positive 8x. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And that uh, So this function, there are no like terms. So the result is 4x cubed, subtract 3x squared, plus 8x, subtract 6. And we're done with that. So that is composing a new function from two given functions using multiplication.